Now we got a rocket launcher off that other dude. Now who is this? Otis Wastelander. Where is the surgeon's body? Oh, there's a piece of it. The surgeon's key, the surgeon's lab coat. Whoa. Uh, do we want a missile launcher? Nah, not really. we don't need it. Well, this became unexpectedly awesome. Was totally not planning on finding like anything very interesting here at all. Then we find out all this stuff, man. That is freaking crazy. Oh, dude. Ugh. Wait, how... <clears throat> I totally knew I was heavily radiated. I was just seeing if you guys were paying attention. Cough, cough. Cough, cough. Swing it up! Uh, hi, Ko. I have a life hack for you for allergies like stuffed up sinuses. Push with finger above nose in between eyebrows for five seconds and push on roof of mouth with tongue for five seconds and repeat. I have not heard that one before, buddy. I appreciate that. Thank you very much, dude. And thank you for your donation, too. Save it. Hack it. Definitely chemicals. Oh. How about circuitry? Oh. What about... Curiosity. Wow. All right, let's do all the other stuff. Bunk. Uh, bunk. Mm. Bunk. 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 Cool. Oh. Oh. Disparate. Did you see her? No. She's already sent. Kaylee has? Mm -hmm. Nice. There we go. What's up, girl? How you doing, girl? Shit. Good to see you. Notes on Stefan. Stefan is now under my control. The latest chip I installed in him seems to have taken, and he is now mine. The effort to capture one of these glowing ghoul was immense, but finally I can take my solace in the fact that I have one under my control. His limited intellect means I will have to keep him downstairs with the rest of the ghouls, but I pity any rabble that pokes their head in here now. Wait, what? No, Stefan was up here. Huh? What's your plan today, baby? You're going to the barn pretty soon, right? I'm going to go to the barn first. Cool. But I've got a couple hours first. Very cool. I gotta hit uh, Best Buy to get some cables and stuff today for my mixer, so I'll probably head out in like an hour or so and get that done. I mean, you're doing something tonight, right? Maybe I'll do like a Counter-Strike stream or something tonight. I'll figure it out later. Or I can just mod Fallout all night, which is also really fun. <laughs> Hurt. Oh, look at this! Finally found some stuff in our boxes, man. Yeah, man. Oh, hell yeah. Hook a brother up. Oh, of course. Of course. The White Knight. We love you too, buddy. Homies unite. What was happening in the chat? Uh, my wife dropped by, so the chat went uh, full Lena mode. They built the Great Wall of Lena, which you can see from space, by the way. Uh, let's get you repaired. We need to get more uh, repair. Big time. Is there any... More stuff here? I don't think so. 
Uh, thank you to Skaz for the three months of support. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. Barry, I did notice that, and that is awesome. I love it, Barry. I definitely noticed that. Uh, oh. Whiskey. What software do I use for my sound bites? Oh, the, the, the death counter that was made for the channel. Um, a community member named Kilgen originally offered to make me a death counter, which is what I use for my desks. As you can see, I can move my desks up and down on my OBS without having to like tab out or do anything. And over time, I kept asking him for feature after feature. And finally I was like, dude, can you just program a soundboard into your death counter? And he did. So the soundboard program that I use for all of my sound clips was actually made by a viewer, a member of our community, and you can find it on the coalition forums if you want to pick it up yourself. It's totally free. It's a great little program. The only thing I will ask is if you do end up using the death counter for your own stream, uh, please consider donating Kildjian a few bucks for his work. Um, because he made it totally for free. Very cool of him. So, yeah. Yoink. Uh, anything in here? Nope. Nikolai, Tesla, and you. Uh, the death counter is... Let me get the command. I think it's just death counter. Yeah, there it is. Uh, is this the way out? Yeah. So that's it then. Wait, there was still a ton here, but I think that's... I think that's it. Let's do one more quick run through. Went up there. That's where the big guy was. Went in here. This is where the guy... The exploded head was. We searched this whole area. Looked in there. I'm really. It's really kind of unfortunate we couldn't talk to the surgeon. I mean, considering this guy found out a way to control super mutants and ghouls like that. That's something I think anyone in this world would want to would want to figure out about. Would want to learn about. Beer has worn off, lol. Um, but yeah, it's kind of crazy. Have I heard of a Tale of Two Wastelands? I have. Yes. Um, I'm not using Tale of Two Wastelands because, as you guys know, we're using a viewer-submitted template for every one of the fallouts uh, in the franchise playthrough. And as such, um, Tale of Two Wastelands uses the same character between Fallout 3 and New Vegas. And I didn't want to do that. Because I like that every time we play a new Fallout game, we use like a completely different template. So, we're going to keep that up. Hmm. That beeping is driving me crazy. I'm half expecting to find out later that Barry Carlion has programmed in a little sound effect for that beeping and is randomly triggering it. I'm watching you, Barry. I think we can jump down here. Anything under the bucket? Oh, there's something under the bucket. Yeah. I love exploring into stuff and then finding fun things as a reward. Yeah, cool tip, by the way, and one that is not talked a lot about in the Fallout series. Um, if you walk up to any item in the game world and you hold down Z... If it's an item that's in the world, it will pick that item up. If it is a movable item, this is this is what you see me do all the time. Uh, whenever I'm searching like walls and stuff and I pull out boxes, you can hold down Z, like on this wrench, and just drag items anywhere you want to. So it's really cool if you're like at a big shelf with a lot of boxes, just pull all the boxes out and you can explore in them really easily. If you want to know more about the surgeon, I think he's involved in a quest you get from Tenpenny Tower. Oh, cool. Okay. Oh, guys. I wonder if the beeping is from the things in their heads. If it's the chips. I wonder if we're hearing the beeping from the chips. 
I didn't think about that. Hell yeah, more shotgun ammo. Co, it's still the damn ship from the NPC that blows up in bips when you're in a new room and there's an enemy. Okay, cool. Yep, yep, yep. Thought so. Okay. Alright, so we gotta free up a little bit of weight. I think we're gonna actually fast travel back, sell, and then fast travel back here. Because we are super full on stuff right now. Super duper full. The president of America. The president of your heart. Oh. Oh. That's adorable. Let's get out of here. Uh, not yet, Dad Gamer. I'm gonna get a full list of the mods I'm using on the uh, the Coalition website. The uh, the same post that says the archetype and everything right now. I'm gonna turn that into a uh, a mod list as well. Thank you to Mr. Red Bull 615 for your subscription. Really appreciate that, buddy, and welcome to our family. Thank you for joining us, dude. Awesome, awesome. Beijing, nope! Not yet, buddy. I have not. Not yet. Uh, let's do a fast travel. Hopefully it'll be day by the time we get home. There we go. Be just. Yep, that's one I am uh, looking forward to. Beijing, do I think we'll see the Enclave in Fallout 4? Um, trying to remember about what happens to the Enclave in 3 in New Vegas. I don't know. I don't know. I need, to, I need to play 3 in New Vegas again before I really start talking about what I think is in 4. I need to be reminded of all the stuff that happens. What time is it? Oh, let's wait a few hours. Hey, Mr. Boombody. How are you doing today, dude? My voice activates Cortana on Windows 10. Really? What are some fun things I can say? Cortana, shut down. That was rude. I'm sorry. I really hope I really hope that didn't do anything to anyone. That'd be the worst thing ever. Oh, I'm, I'm like looking at my viewer numbers. It's like I lose 2,000 viewers instantly. Whoops. Um... Hopefully there's a confirmation window. Um. <clears throat> Is it there? Are there books? Oh, can I go borrow some? Okay. Oh, we haven't been there yet. What am I saying? But we do want to see if you can sell. Sure thing. Uh, oh, you do have some caps. So let's see. What can we, uh, can we get from you? Shotgun shells. We'll take all of those. Uh, we can. We'll probably take your stim packs. Hmm. We'll get the five fifty-six. Sell you. Sell you. Sell you. Sell you. You're cool. Sell you. I'm out. Sell the mines. We're. You know what? I wanted to use mines this playthrough, but with the dog, we're not going to be able to. Because he just runs straight into fighting every time. So, yeah, I don't know. It's kind of a bummer. Uh, let's see. Hmm, is there anything else we want? Mr. Red Bull, Co. the Fallout series streams have been great. Thanks for the great content. Thank you for the donation, bud. Appreciate that greatly, man. Thank you. Thank you. Have I been to Rivet City yet? No, no. Do you feel like you remember a lot from Fallout 1 and 2 now? Oh yeah, dude. I'm so glad we replayed Fallout 1 and 2 over the last few weeks um, to get ready for 4. Like, I, I feel completely caught back up to the Fallout 1 and 2 story. Um, I'm, I'm very happy to have done that. 
You get a combat helmet. Well, I actually like the glasses we're using. Um, let's get those med kits. Would two do it? No. There we go. Yeah, it's fine. Cool. Good hunting. LZT, fifty dollars for the mods. Beautiful. Thank you, LZT. Awesome. Okay. Bum, 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 ba -dum, bum, bum. Have I started decorating my house? Not yet. No. I own you anyway. Welcome. Welcome. All right. So how are we looking on weight? Not good. Let's go to our house. Kandahar. That is ridiculous. Oh, Dr. Yiggles, dude. Thank you, buddy. Thank you very much, Eagles. I still appreciate that support, man. Thank you very much. Shivy, I've never played Wasteland 1. I don't know. I don't know. Carl Takaris, I just never make it there. I usually sell my guns and stuff first, and I usually max out the vendor before I uh, get to my misc items. Bump. Uh, Ega99, well, there'll be a list of mods on the front page of my website uh, by tomorrow. Hmm. We'll save the bottle cap mines for now. We'll start stockpiling the cartons of cigarettes. And the dirty water. I know we can make that uh, regular water somehow. I don't remember how, though. Put the lunch boxes away. Uh... All the Nuka Cola goes away. We could, well, actually, we're gonna put that in the um, the ice cold Nuka Cola thing. Pre war books go away. We'll save the pulse grenades for now. We'll turn in the scrap uh, scrap metal. We don't need ten pit boys. We'll put like seven away. Serpents out of the lab coat away. That should be enough for now. Okay, let's put the... Um... Yeah, I know, Duncan. Yeah. There we go. That was added. RL3 is ready. Oops. Uh, Nycro, unfortunately, there's no good way to do that. Yeah, there's no good way to know if items are going to be used for, uh, for crafting or not. There's not, like, materials from um, good morning, sir. Witcher 3. That would be really nice for this you. game. Having like a materials designation, that'd be great. Certainly, sir. He just gives me purified water. Well, that's nice of him. Uh, tell me a joke. I once visited a crematorium that gave discounts for burn victims. Let's do another one. My oh. humor. I'll be sure Have we been to Canterbury Commons? Uh, no. No. Not yet. I don't think so. Yeah, Red Eye Monster, you're liking uh, Windows 10? Awesome, dude. Awesome. Um, Scrap metal. And then... I don't know. Uh... I didn't realize Fallout New Vegas happens after Fallout 4. Uh, I don't think it does. I think Fallout 4 takes place 10 years after New Vegas. Is that right? Um, hmm. Yeah, what is. We. There we go. Hey, Shannon, good to see you. And it doesn't, yeah. Right? Zifidel, the Fallout Wikia timeline? Uh, hmm. Oh, Lord. Fallout 3. It's 2277, right? 
Fallout 4 isn't even on this, dude. Yeah, I don't think it's after. I really don't think it's after. Um, Super Starless and Kryptonians. Um, hello again, Code. Just thought we would remind you to save Lucas Sims for the guy who wanted to blow up Megaton. Me and the fiance love your face. Loving the stream. Don't go offline. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much. I also missed one from Kblood27. Missed my sub, but four months in this community, and I've never felt more welcome. Loving this Fallout 3 playthrough. Thank you. Thank you very much. Really appreciate that, guys. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Remember, the beginning of Fallout 4 happens before everything, so that's probably where the guy was confused. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, the beginning... The beginning of Fallout 4 is going to be confusing. And there's a lot of speculation as to what your character is. Like, is he a, is he in suspended animation? Um, a clone? Uh, is he a recompiled? Was there something about the vault that froze time? Is there a time machine-like device involved? Like, no one knows. But the only thing we know for sure is that for some reason, the guy that comes out of the vault in Fallout 4, like... 200 years later thinks he is the same guy that went into the vault 200 years earlier so we we don't we don't know why that is but we do know that there's something weird going on that's about all we know for sure soul survivor x ex exits vault after 200 years 2 2281 october 19 fallout new vegas begins Oh, yeah, but the thing is, the thing is, um, Zifidel, Fallout 4 begins, Soul Survivor exit vaults 111 after 200 years. We don't know if it's exactly 200 years. Uh, we don't know if it's exactly 200 years. So, we, we don't know. We don't know. It's not the Gary Vault, no. <laughs> but we'll have to see, again, it doesn't, it doesn't even, you know, it's not even worth speculating over. We'll, we'll figure this out in like the first five minutes of Fallout, I'm sure. Red Dragon Rob, I did. I did hear about that, yeah. Oh, you know what? Let's fast travel down to that place we were at. Right here. Red Rocket! Red Rocket! <laughs> Alright, let's go... Let's orient ourselves a bit. So we're going to the right, around, and to the left. Fallout Gary. Fallout 5. Colon. Gary. That would be amazing. Damn, look at this. So much for exploring that metro. What is this? A gate? Whoa. Ah. Well, damn, bro. Haven't even met yet. Got to get those neck shots in. Boom. Look at this. They all fell out of that. How cool is that? Huh. Let's not get near those. <laughs> So there was a closed gate around this area. Well, there's a lot of fallen gate around here too, I guess, so. I was gonna say maybe there's loot in here somewhere, but probably not now that I'm looking at it. Scanning, sir. Alright, stay focused, go, stay focused. Wait a second, what is this? Damn it, my ADD kicked in again, but now we have to figure out what this is. Metro access. Bailey's Crossroads Metro. We're not going to go through here, but... Hmm. Hmm. Good to know where that is. Nexus Intel says, it's called a door. A door, you say? How does it work? Oh, look at this guy. Poor dude with his lunchbox and his toolbox. Must have been out taking lunch when the bombs dropped. Ouch. Bad timing. That's the DLC? Oh. Oh, really? Okay. Am I using a controller? No.
That shot. Going to get him. Oh. You gotta go first. I want your gun. Shit. That's so funny to me, but it is just hilarious. You, Emery, how you doing, man? JC Jake, oh, we will use lots of grenades, dude. I'm actually saving my explosives for the larger enemies. But yeah, we will be using all the nades. It's a big part of this build. I'm also considering leaving dog meat and just using the other guy. And that way I'd never have to worry about dog meat interfering with mines. And if we could use mines, that would definitely open up a lot of different ways to do some of these encounters. So I may go back to uh, Megaton at some point and tell dog meat to chill there. They saw Ko and fell to pieces. <laughs> Love it. Well played, sir. Well played. Under the metro over here. Oh, we got a green guy. That's weak. Uh -oh. What? What? Thank God. Water. Come out. Yeah, bro. Give one water. You just saved my life. I won't forget it. Are we gonna talk, bro? Or is that is that it? I don't think I've ever seen this guy before. I can't travel yet. But I'll be back on my feet soon, thanks to you. I never expected help from a stranger in the wasteland. Hmm. Oh, ah, oh, poor dude. Definitely thought he could make it in here. Definitely didn't. Glitch King, uh, interesting to know, man. Not something I would do, probably, but it's good to know. War says, hey, my name is Ben. Hey, mine is too. Um, oh. That doesn't look good. Where is this damn building? We gotta be close. Oh, it's straight ahead. Okay. We never got that guy's sniper rifle, did we? Oh, it was a hunting rifle. I wish you could repair uh, sniper rifles with hunting rifles. That would be super nice. I guess this Magnum may be pretty good at range. One thing I don't like about Fallout 3 is how little information it gives you about the weapons. I wish it would tell you like a range or something. It would be kind of nice. Um, hmm. I guess the, spo the, the, the Scope Magnum could, could probably be used kind of as a... Uh, a sniper rifle, maybe. Oh, look at this, man. This is like a base. Oh, shit. Going in. Oh, shit! Um... Yeah, get him, dog meat. That is a very active dog right there. Man's best friend, bros. Shut up. Oh, shit. Who's that? Who's that? 
Are you a raider? I think that's a raider. Don't worry, man. I'm not going to hurt you. We're good. We're good. Oh, my bad. Oh, finger slip. Sorry about that. Oh, I'm so, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to do it. He's coming back. He's coming the other way. Oh, dog meat, you shit.